In this video, I'm going to talk about different articular positions and the implications for manual therapy. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. For the rolling, gliding and spinning to occur, there must be adequate laxity of the capsule, ligaments and the other structures crossing the joint. The influences these structures actually exert on a particular intra-articular motion depends on the position of that joint. The close pack position occurs at one extreme of the most habitual movements of the joint. It is that position in which the concave surface is in complete congruence with the convex surface. The capsule and ligaments are under maximal tension. The joint surfaces are tightly compressed and the two bones of the articular unit cannot be separated by traction across the joint space. There is minimal room inside the joint and it's the joint's most stable position. The maximum loose pack position, abbreviated as MLPP, is the exact opposite of the close pack position. In this position the joint is under the least of stress and the capsule is most relaxed. This position is one of minimal congruency between articular surfaces and contact areas between the both joint partners are reduced, thereby providing proper joint lubrication. The bones of the articular unit can be drawn apart by traction to the greatest extent. There is maximum space inside the joint. This is also the reason why patients with serious inflammation prefer to keep this joint in the MLPP. Don't confuse the MLPP with the resting position, which refers to the position of the joint in which all muscles crossing over the joint are maximally relaxed. So why is this knowledge about the CPP and the MLPP of utmost importance for physiotherapists? In the close pack position, joint mobilizations cannot be performed. This position can be helpful if we want to fixate a joint in order to move an adjacent joint. For example, we are bringing the hip into its CPP of extension, internal rotation and adduction if we want to examine the SI joint or the lower back, like shown in the video that we made about the Manel test. The maximum loose pack position is used in order to assess joint play and in order to perform traction mobilizations and manipulations with the goal to stress the whole capsule equally, often in order to reduce pain. In the following table, you can find an overview about the CPP and MLPP of different joints. You can find a link to the download of this table in the description down below. Okay, this was our video on the close pack position and the maximum loose pack position. If you want to learn more about which part of the joint capsule you are stressing in which joint position, have a look at our video on the concave convex rule in the video right next to me. Thanks a lot for watching, we hope you enjoyed this video and you benefit from it in your studies or at work. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment in the description down below and subscribe if you haven't. You can find more information about us on Facebook, Instagram and on physiotutors.com. This was Kai for Physiotutors, I'll see you in the next video, bye.